the very first method is to check system requirements so you should check the required specs to play the game for that uh, search for the game and then go below and here you can see the uh, minimum requirements to play the game on your system uh, make sure your pc have all these requirements and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem if not next solution is to restart your pc for that click on the windows icon over here now click on power then select restart so this will restart your system now after your system restarts now check if uh, you can play the game if not next solution is to launch the game with directx so uh, after you launch the game uh, you will get an option of launch the game with directx this is uh, helpful when the game crashes so after you launch the game you will get an option simply click on it to start and then you can check if the game is launching or not if not then next method is to run game as administrator so for that go to the epic games folder now open epic games here is the game folder now here is the uh, game icon now right click on it and then click on properties then click on compatibility and then select run this program as an administrator then click on apply and okay and after that try to launch the game and see if this resolves the problem if not select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then click on apply and okay and then launch the game and see if this fixes the problem if not again come back select a disable full screen optimizations then click on apply and okay and after that launch the game and see if this resolves the issue if not next is to verify integrity of game files for that go to epic games under library section select your game click on three dot icon now click on manage and here you can see verify integrity of game files you can simply click on verify option and this will verify the game files after that check if the problem is fixed next is to add launch arguments so uh, go to epic games under library section select your game click on three dot icon now click on manage here you can see launch options click on it to enable and now here you have to type minus dx11 and then launch the game and see if this resolves the problem if not again uh, come back and type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if it helps to fix the issue next is to update graphics card so for that go to the windows search, search for device manager now expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will search if uh, there is any update available for your graphics driver and after that launch the game to see if you can play it nvidia and amd users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next is to run the game as dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search, search for windows security now click on firewall network protection allow an app through firewall click on change settings and here you have to uh, check if the game is listed or not so let me search for the game over here now if uh, the game is not listed uh, don't worry simply go to allow another app then click on browse now uh, go to the game folder where your game has been installed so here is the game launcher add it to the list over here so the game is added make sure both public and private boxes are ticked and then click on ok and after that launch the game and see if this helps to fix the issue next is to allow the game through uh, next is to uh, run the game as dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search, search for graphics settings now here you have to add your game to the list so for that click on add desktop app now go to the uh, game folder select your game application now after the game is added over here the arrow icon now on the gpu preference you have to select high performance and after that launch the game and see if this fixes the issue if not next is to stop overclock cpu and gpu settings so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu or gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of the cpu or gpu in the background this will help you to fix the issue next is to check graphic settings of the game so when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash so make sure to set up the settings properly or even the lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue next is to close unnecessary background tasks so for that go to the windows search search for task manager 
Now under process tab, you are suggested to check if th those apps which are of no use. Simply you need to select them. Now after selecting, right click on it and click on end task. So this will completely close the app from running in the background. And after that, try to launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. Next is to update windows. So for that, go to the windows search, search for check for updates. This will take you to the windows update page. Here you have to click on check for updates and it will check if any update is available for your windows. Now after updating your windows to the latest version, try to launch the game. Next solution is to disable antivirus program. So if you are having an antivirus program that it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues. Somewhere the antivirus program blocks the game and you cannot play. So if it's so, then you are suggested to check the settings of the particular program or disable it to play the game as well free. Next solution is to install Visual C++ files. So for that, I have already provided this link in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser. Now, after the website opens, go below and from here you need to download the Visual C++ files. After downloading it, install them and after installing, uh, restart your PC and then log into the game and check if you can play it. Next is to increase virtual memory settings. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for View Advanced System Settings, click on Settings, click on Advanced, Change. Now select the drive where your game has been installed and click on Custom Size. Here type 12288 and in the maximum size you have to type 24576. Now after that click on Set and then click on OK. Once done, launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. If not, then the final solution is to reinstall the game so for that go to the epic games under library section select your game click on three dot icon and here you can see the uninstall option simply click on uninstall and this will completely remove the game from your pc after that restart your pc once restarts again launch epic games and reinstall do at night abyss game once again and then try to play the game and see if this resolves the problem 